This is a very good opportunity for the Muslims to convey Tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and messenger of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam along with the concept of Sharia through Zabiha. We can give this. We should raise our voice against this particular violation of rights, especially of that of minorities in these nations. Drag the governments in courts, bring them into courts and raise the issue in courts by filing the cases and fight the cases. It's a very good opportunity for the Muslim nations and businessmen to promote halal meat. French government have banned Zabiha, slaughtering of animals in an Islamic way, but they did not ban halal meat. I recommend Muslim French restaurant owners and other hotels to promote uh, their tasty dishes. Inshallah, tomorrow even the non-Muslim brothers and sisters will come and eat it, Inshallah. Welcome. Today, the world is facing problems. Countries are fighting, communities are killing each other, human rights are being violated. Everywhere there are riots, murders, rapes, lootings and what not. Everywhere we see there are problems, problems and problems. To solve this, we are bringing for you Islamic solutions. The solutions to all your problems from Islam. Today we will be discussing the ban on Zabiha by the French government. Zabiha means the Islamic way, the halal way of sacrificing a cow or sheep. And this practice has been banned by the French government. To discuss this, joining me today is Mr. Elias Sharafuddin, an expert on geopolitics and Islamic law, a da'i from India, an IT consultant by profession. He attended various TV debates on different issues on multiple news channels and delivers sermons in masajids. Mr. Sharafuddin, the French government has banned Zabiha the Islamic way of sacrificing a sheep or cow. What is your take on this? French government have banned Zabiha, that is uh, slaughtering in an Islamic manner animals before consumption. And there is a trend going on right from Sri Lanka, from India till France and so on to keep on acting against the Islamic values and ethos just to irritate Muslims, just to have a say with Muslims, they are trying to do all these rubbish things. I would like to suggest some points to the Muslim community on this particular front. The first thing is, it's a very, very good opportunity to do dawah, to spread the peaceful message of Islam, to convey that why we do zabiha, that is cutting the throat and the jugular vein and keeping the uh, backbone, the spinal cord intact, why we do that how through this particular concept of uh, uh, slaughtering the animals, the dirty blood comes out, the germs and bacteria comes out through blood and the meat remains fresh. How through this way of doing uh, slaughtering, the meat remains fresh for a longer time and how it is hygienic and how it is good. And who have given this command to us? Our only creator God Allah through his final messenger Muhammad sallallahu So this is a very good opportunity for the Muslims to convey Tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and messenger of Muhammad sallallahu along with the concept of Sharia through Zabiha. We can give this the first point. Second point, Fr French government or Sri Lankan government by doing this is curtailing the basic freedom of religion rights of millions and millions of Muslims. And we should raise our voice against this particular violation of rights, especially of that of minorities in these nations and make sure that the international community, especially the UN, get, get our voice, listen our voice. So we should keep on raising this particular voice in a very effective manner that how these governments, when they themselves talk about human rights, are violating the rights of the human by themselves. The third point, it's uh, very, very easy for the people over there living in France or Sri Lanka, etc., where the rights are being violated, to drag the governments in courts, bring them into courts, and raise the issue in courts by filing the cases and fight the cases. Let the world media and people know that how we are standing for our freedom of religion 
and how we are going to practice it wherever we live. The earth belongs to Allah, the universe belongs to Allah and we will abide by his commands inshallah. Mentioned in the Quran and the authentic hadith. And the next point, it's a very good opportunity for the Muslim nations and businessmen to promote halal meat. French government have banned zabiha, slaughtering of animals in an Islamic way, but they did not ban halal meat. So I strongly recommend that businessmen, Muslim businessmen and Muslim nations should take this opportunity in their stride and keep on promoting halal beef, halal meat like anything. The beef and meat which is being exported from my nation India, it is also halal, alhamdulillah, from many, many slaughterhouses. So it's a very good opportunity for the Indian businessmen also to export the halal meat and beef and let Muslim nations increase the standardization of halal products and market it in a very aggressive manner so that there will be a huge, huge, mashallah, demand for it. And there is a demand, there will be a huge supply also and lot of revenue can be generated through this particular concept, inshallah. And last and but not the least, I recommend Muslim French restaurant owners and other hotels to promote their tasty dishes like kebabs are very famous in UK. So promote this non-vegetarian food as halal non-vegetarian food, halal non-veg. Promote it like anything, provide in a very cost effective manner, give good quantity, supply with good quantity, very cost effective and tasty dishes. Inshallah tomorrow, even the non-Muslim brothers and sisters will come and eat it, Inshallah. <laughs> Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, May Allah have mercy on the one who give good food in a lesser price. So dua of Rasulullah is there for the one who is doing it. Muslim restaurant owners should remember this and act upon it. Thank you for joining us. We will keep on giving you the solutions for your problems from Islam.